not go, everybody. Thank you for being here. Let's try the first verse. Um, the morning rokobi. The fact that, you know, this project is driven for the most part by voices is such a great reflection of the islands because I think my earliest memories would be my mum singing worship songs. Faith for the Fijian people, and I would dare say for a lot of the Pacific, is kind of like the cornerstone of who we are. We would wake up to Dad singing and playing music. No matter what was going on in our life, in family, it was just unwavering, this faith of light. We are committed to God, to His church. That's really helped shape my faith today. So when you grow up loving worship and loving God and, um, and writing music and be part of it, like, it just became like, oh yeah, like, why wouldn't we do this? But it was also like an honouring moment going, oh wow, we get to translate still into our native tongue so that our own people could be a part of it. Worship is like air. You need it. It changed me to begin with when I first became a Christian. But then when I found a way, it brought me back, you know what I mean? And it sustains me. When you get given the opportunity to sing in your native tongue or in your native language, it just takes on a whole new meaning. It goes beyond translating a song into tongue and print. We are thinking, what's the best way to unify the room? Psalm 133, oh how great and how pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. So when we're translating a song, even though we're singing to the King of Kings, we want to make it accessible so that everyone is unified. They don't need a dictionary. Everyone knows what the words mean. For a number of years, we've had many different vocal groups or different uh, expressions of worship through ensemble-like means. We've always used it as a means of being able to gather people. It's always been about community. And if I think about this project in particular, it's been pretty much exactly the same. This project has come out of community and an opportunity for one and all to come. I hope it helps us to uh, just to get back to grassroots of faith because, you know, it's been a crazy last few years. Everybody's been shaken, but sometimes a good worship song brings you back, you know what I mean? Just lights the fire and helps you remember. God cares about every tribe, every language, every nation. We can come together no matter what race, what ethnicity, what background. It brings unity and it unifies us to glorify the name of Jesus. When we gather under that one name, under that one common purpose, there is power in that. There's power in agreement. 
I would pray and hope that it would cultivate strength for people, valleys low or mountains high, that people would come and acknowledge the greatness of God. With my culture in particular, when it comes to weddings, we celebrate together. When it comes to funerals, we grieve with you. That is another aspect of this project as well. That whatever you're going through, when you sing these songs, know that we are there with you by the power of His Holy Spirit and that you will find hope because hope is all about the future.